Hey guys, I figured I'd post a video on throttle repair. This one I actually blew up myself. As you can see, I got a tester on there, and how it works is when a magnet passes by the hull, that should turn green. And as you can see, it's toast. So, to repair it, if you can imagine, or if you can manage to get this uh, apart, uh, it's not easy to do. You get basically you gotta twist the throttle all the way and then you gotta sort of pull without breaking it. That's when I managed to get it apart. I use this one for testing, so it's if it works it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Um guess first thing we have to do is take the magnet out. It involves a little bit of dig in here. Most of them have a bit of potting in here to keep it from moving around. When I get your screwdriver underneath there, and gently pry on the on the um, the hull until it pops out. And there it goes. There's your hull. I got another one here. I'm going to use as a spare. Um, I'm just going to track, keep track of uh, which way this thing is facing, so I know how to put it back in. Okay, the beveled, ed the beveled edge is face up. So what we'll do, and we'll chop it off right about here. Pull all the junk off it. Got the soldering iron ready to go. Actually, it was a perfect place to cut it. And this one here has got a lot of junk on it. Can't get it off. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to end up cutting it short. Right about there. Give us some leads to work with. And that also is bevel side up. Okay, let's form up the soldering iron here. And it's cold. I'll get back to you when I get that plugged in. Okay, let's go ready to go here. As you can see, I got it prepped. A little bit of shrink wrapping on there. Uh, be sure to keep an eye on the polarity. Red goes first. Just gonna tint this a little bit. These you can pick up at DigiKey. Pretty sure I'll leave a link in the description where you can pick them up. I'll buy a bunch of them. They're also good for replacing hulls and motors and this one's used so hopefully it works <laughs> ouch hot okay, let's label side up get this ready okay heat and solder by the looks of it. It's going to be tricky. should be using my extra hand for this. There's one.
to and blue is the last not perfection but like I said I'm only using this throttle to test the controllers so it's not a big loss here there I'm okay before we go any further we're going to give it a quick test turn it on as you can see I'm not getting the red light now so that means there's no short and we just pass the magnet across it and there you go green, red, depending on which way the magnet is facing it's good and then all we have to do is shrink wrap it that up a bit. Um, got a heat gun. Pick the right size too. Okay, let's get that. We'll drop it back in a little bit of hot glue, and we are good to go. Hopefully, we can get it back together. A matter of pushing it back into the slot. Without breaking the hull itself, which you could do. Oh, that didn't sound good. I bet you I just destroyed it. <laughs> yep, I did too. Oh, wow. Well, it looks like I'm ordering some. But you can see how easy it is to destroy it. Simple crack. That's all it'll take. Oh, well. i give you an idea anyway how to fix it. Just be a little bit more gentle with it. Because I wasn't. I should have cleaned this out before I pushed it in. Oh well. Cool. Oh, I don't think that's even worth posting. Well, if you can if you can uh, manage to get the hull in there without destroying it, after that you're going to want to put the spring back in. And you're going to want to, well actually it's probably going to go in here first, depending on your throttle. Spring goes on the inside, right there. Then you line up with that hole. Once the spring is lined up and set in, you can twist it and Manipulate it to get in. There. So you just give it a twist. And then it should just drop right in. There. There it goes. So I'll have to order up some more hulls. But uh, you can repair these if you don't screw them up. <laughs> Later, guys.